In this video, we will show you how to use Selenium with Silk4j. Using Selenium WebDriver in combination with Silk4j provides a number of advantages. For example, your existing QA team can easily include new engineers. These engineers don't necessarily need to have Silk4j expertise. Anyone with WebDriver knowledge can easily contribute to your Silk4j testing efforts. Also, Selenium offers a variety of locator strategies, which you can utilize to enhance your existing locators. And within a single script, you can combine Silk4j and WebDriver actions, which results in a so-called mixed script. Let's see how we can generate such a mixed script using this sample project that we've already prepared. We right-click on the name of the Silk4j project and under Silk4j Tools, we click Add WebDriver Capability. We position the cursor in the script where we want to insert our WebDriver actions. So, let's record some simple actions. In the toolbar, we click Record Actions, select Chrome as our browser and click Record. In the Silk Recorder, we switch from Silk Test to WebDriver. And then we pause the recording so that we can bring the application under test to the correct state. In our case, we make sure that the logout button is available. Now we can resume the recording and we click logout. When we stop the recording and we click OK, the WebDriver action is added to our Silk4j script. We can see that the logout button is located by its ID. Let's see how we can use a different locator strategy. In the toolbar, we click the Silk4j icon and then Locator Spy. Again, we stick with Chrome as our browser and start the Locator Spy. We move the cursor over this Login button and press Ctrl-Alt on the keyboard. Instead of using the ID of the control, we now want to use its X path to locate it. We paste the locator to the editor and then we close the Locator Spy. As you can see, the action is added to the script, including the locator strategy by XPath. We now clean up the script and add an action to the locator, in this case a click. We've successfully created a mixed script containing both Silk4j and WebDriver actions. So let's replay the script to verify that everything works fine. When the execution is completed, we can explore the results in TrueLog Explorer. Using Selenium WebDriver in combination with Silk4j is easy and straightforward and, as we've learned in this video, provides a number of advantages.